Hey everyone, guess what? It's going to be a nice weekend with no rain. So, we're heading out. We're going to yeah. take advantage of this. Yeah, it's been a long time. What was the last time? It was October. Yeah, so, since yeah. we were on a trip. So, we're going to take three days and go enjoy ourselves in the California desert. We will see you out there. Very often on the freeway. Holy cow, he's going at least 60. He's probably over I'm doing 60. 60. <laughs> oh my goodness. How wow. cute. It's an interceptor. See that? Interceptor. So we've reached our destination. Yes, it is the same place we've been to before. Actually, last October. It's Ricardo Campground in Red Rocks. I think it's a state park, not a national park. And uh, normally we stay at the second uh, campsite to the right there, but somebody's already in there. So we can't stay there. So we're going to keep moseying through, meandering on the dirt road till we find us a decent campsite. There are lots of them on both sides of the road once you get a little further down. Um, some of them are right by the uh, vaulted toilets and some are not. A little bit of a walking distance, but you know, walking's good for you, so we didn't mind. So um, as we're cruising through here, we see that there are other campers here and it's Probably, from what I could tell from this position on the road, probably about half full right now. And um, we also noticed just a little further up that there uh, were some people in uh, tents that were camping. I don't know if you'll see them or not. Um, but uh, I, I'm like, man, I don't know how they could do that. Because it gets down into the low 40s uh, out here at this time of year. So, we'll keep looking here for one. Um, hopefully, we'll get a campsite where we stayed before. And that's uh, on our list, too. It would be campsite number 39, which is not too far ahead now. But look at the formations of the, all that sandstone from um, the wind and the uh, rain erosion over thousands and thousands of years. So, that's two campsites right there together. That's not going to work. Kind of want to be away from people because we, I deal with people all day long at work and I just want to escape 
that. Um, just us three, maybe Roxanne and Crockett, that would be ideal for us. So um, we'll keep uh, keep going here a little bit further. That would have been a good spot too. Plenty of parking there for that one. nice big open campground. And somebody's got that one. Keep going. Jeez, I just can't get over those formations. They're so cool. So that campsite coming up or that red truck's going in there, I think that was is number 39. That's the kind of the one that we wanted to get. So we got this spot that we've uh, been at before. It's a pretty good sized spot. Uh, let me show you. Lots of room. This is actually the spot that she was talking about earlier. I don't know if you heard her or not because we were driving, but uh, a windstorm had picked up that night and we had the van over here and the sand was coming down off of these hills, as you can see here. And it was just whipping around. There we go. Because this is all sand, sandstone. But it's so beautiful. We have a little bit of a breeze, but let me show you what I'm talking about. You come up here and you go like this. It just, I mean, it's hard, but it crumbles. And this will probably come all falling down on me. See, just crazy scary. Oh, rock. <laughs> So this is uh, site 39. It's at the end of, toward the end of the campground, Ricardo Campground and Red Rock National Park. <laughs> Had a little bit of a coolant leak when we went to go check in and pay for the site. It looks like one of the heater hoses might have been just a little loose or something. I tightened it up and it seems to be okay now. I'll take some coolant with us tomorrow just in case. And my tools. I always take my tools. But it's a, look how beautiful this valley is. Are you yelling at me? Yeah. What are you yelling? Okay. It's out already. Huh? What, the little cans? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me grab them. Sorry, guys. Got to get the little propane out so we can have some dinner it's not going to be any add water dinner tonight not the what was it mountain gonna, mountain adventure meals we're having hot dogs so are you gonna move that brake buddy yes uh, uh you don't want to lay next to it tonight on the bed it's been like five. <laughs> all right uh i gotta find the propane so we get dinner going it's about 10 to 5 dinner time Okay, as promised, we have hot dogs. Take a look, they're really good. <laughs> oh yeah, the relish just sets it off. Huh, babe? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take pictures of me right now. No, don't. I'm hungry. Want celery? And this is what's my drink for tonight. Uh, what do you have? It's tangerine one. It's the same company, Cal Squeeze yeah. Tangerine. Mine's blood orange. A Pretty whole... darn good. Low alcohol content too, so you could drink a whole bunch of them. Not really. Anyways, I'm gonna sit down and finish this hot dog. It's starting to get a little dark, so um, hopefully these clouds will go away. We can get some stars because I remember the last couple times we were out here. It was clear and the stars were, it was hard to see any black. There were so many stars. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but that's okay, right? All right, let me finish eating.
Hi, baby doll. You should sit here and lean back and take a picture of your feet by the fire. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. Well, we don't Not making yet. Well, we didn't get much of a sunset, but we got a full moon. Crockett's got to go potty. She's going to take him for a little walk so he can go potty. Oh, this feels so good. We we needed this bad. It's so beautiful out here. Yeah. Still, there's still people coming into this campground. This truck pulling a fifth wheel, and then it was pulling a utility trailer. Behind that, I didn't even know that was legal in California. Maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oops, what the heck? Sorry, there we go. Sorry about that, folks. The lights under the van. Um, one of our previous videos, I explained this. We were told that this helps keep, helps keep critters away from... Uh, climbing up inside the van plus we also sprayed peppermint on um, on the tires that's supposed to help too peppermint oil so uh, it's about six o'clock moon's out freeway 14 is right over there not too bad you can hear a little bit of traffic it gets quieter as the night goes on Had a little coolant leak on the Jeep. I think it was just one of the heater hoses. I tightened them up, so it should be fine now. I hope. But this is really a nice campground when it's not windy. And so far it's not windy, which we like. All right. Still sipping on that one brewski. Tastes good. It's been months since we actually could go anywhere. We went up to Millerton Lake just for a picnic. And um, that was one day. But, I mean, we've been getting rain almost every weekend. And the weekends that we work, it uh, rains a little bit. But it was always the weekends when we were off, it, was, it would rain. So there wasn't a whole lot of places we could go. So we checked the weather for this weekend. Checked the weather out here at Mojave. And it was supposed to be clear in the 60s, high 60s, and the low 40s. Which is not bad for the for the desert. Best time to come is in, is in the early spring or winter time. If you've got a heater, that helps. But there's people out here tenting. They're camping in a tent. So I hope they stay warm. Anyways, guys, we're just going to sit out here for a bit. She's on her way back. And enjoy ourselves. It's a nice, quiet time away from people. Even though there's people out here, but they're not with us. So we're going to enjoy that quiet time. We'll talk to you guys a little bit later on before we uh, hit the sack. All right. Time to relax. All right, guys, um, we're going to call it a night. It got kind of cold out there, so we're in now. Got the heater going. Roxanne will let me show her on film. because She said she's got her hair all weirded out and stuff. <laughs> Welcome. I'm waiting for you to finish up so I can brush my teeth. <laughs> There's not a lot of room for two people to walk around in this van. So, and with our dog, Crockett. So, uh, I'm going to get the heck out of the way so she can brush her teeth. And I'm going to have some yogurt. Yeah, yeah. So peaches and cream yogurt. We will see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Thanks for being with us and joining us. Hop our channel to grow by hit like and subscribe. But this isn't over yet. We still got another day, a full day, and then a half a day after that. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow morning. Bye. Say bye. Bye.
from the distance. She says bye. bye. Later. <laughs>